all of the Great West dungeon was assigned but taken some squats to, to, to the Soda West squat field. We first had to wait for Henry to go by up the express. He looked very nice pulling it. Let's go, said Oliver, and he was off. Oliver was making good time. I have to bring the squat to the solo squat, you already said. Ugh. When he passed over the bridge, he saw Daisy and Henry arguing. Move out of the way, said Henry. This is the express. Well, I'm calling Annie and Clarabelle. She said, please, move out of the way, said Henry, and gave Daisy a bump. You're probably working for Diesel 10 or something. Who is that, said Daisy. She came and gave Henry a giant bump, and he derailed. All of a sudden, Henry jumped the track. Ow, said Harvey. Goodbye, said Daisy. Ugh, said Henry, and he was off too. I don't know if I'm liking Daisy so far, said Alda, and he was off. I'm making good time, said Alda. We just have to make it there. Fast. Alda was wasting around. Oh no, he said, it's too big. There's lots of pushing and tugging, he got it through. Okay, now I'm off, he said. He soon had to turn around. Now the sort of squat beyond is all this, said Billy. What Billy? said all of them, trying to pull the squat cup. Please, you have to help me. What? Where did the aquarium cows go? Oh, Billy, oh. I don't pull the aquarium cows. So sorry, you have to ask for a different engine and all of them was off. Fine, said Billy, and rushed away. He made it through the tunnel, and then he saw Winston at the top of that. Oliver, said Winston. Hello, said Oliver. What are you doing? I'm, um, delivering the squat calls to the squat yard. Perfect. Can you please shunt Walkie out of the way? So the top of that move. Yes, sir, said Oliver. Oliver, you're pushing me off the track. Sorry, said Oliver. believe this is where the scrap yard is, he said. Down this track. Never been down here before. Never been down this track before, he said. It's really old and stuff. Wow, Oliver was going through the scrapyard. This is the scrapyard where I was once before, he said. I'm a bit nervous. Just then, he came face to face with an engine he never had seen before. He uncoupled from his calls. Hello, he said, who are you? Hi, said the old engine, I'm Stepney. Stepney. Hey, didn't, weren't you here a long time ago, Aunt Sodor? Yeah, I came for a visit. How did you end up here? Well, said Stepney, after I got sent back to my blue railway, it was sent down. It was shut down and I didn't know where to go, so the ship brought me back here and then I was left in the siding. Turns out it just turned into a scrapyard. Sort of, because everyone just left their extra tenders and stuff here. Oh dear, said all the the stopping hat. No, you're here? No. He was away on vacation when I came. There was another man in charge at the time. Oh dear, said Oliver. Well, should I bring you and we can fix you up? Yes, said Stepney, I would like that. Okay, said Oliver. He coupled up to Stepney. Step going, he said, and they were off. Oliver and Stepney passed away. Hopefully the top of the hat will let you stay. There's already two on the other new engines. Oh, said Stepney. Maybe I can be the third new one. Well, I don't know if there's any openings, but I'm sure the top of the hat will let you stay, said Oliver. 
So Top Hat was waiting for them when Stepney and Oliver arrived. Sir, said Oliver, meet Stepney. Stepney, said the Top and Hat. He moved forward. Welcome back. What are you doing here? I thought you went back to the Blue Bell Blanchard. I did, sir, said Stepney, but then it was closed down. When you were on vacation all those years ago, they just put me in that siding and it just turned into a squat siding. Oh dear, said the Top and Hat. Well, at least you were never squats. That's for sure, said Stepney. It's just been forgotten and abandoned back there. Ugh. I would do anything to be a religious legend to pull freight cars or pull coaches. I see, said the top and hat. All right, Stepney. Well, luckily you're way outside the solar steam works. So, yes, you can stay. He shunted Stepney a bit forward. Yes, you can stay for now. Away, said Stepney. So yes, um, we are going to send you to the steam works. Well, all of it is. Okay, said Stepney. The cotton hat moves out the way. And all the couples up to Stepney. Let's go, he said. Victor and Kevin were at the store of steam works. Hey boss, ow! Kevin, said Victor. Just then, all of them stepped me past in. Hello, Victor. All of us is that. I mean, all of us are Victor. Hi. Do you need a repair? No, said all of them. Well, actually, I have a friend here who needs a repair. Just then, all the shunted and stepped me. Victor had never met Stepney before. Hello, said Victor. My name is Victor. What's your name? And Stepney said the other engine. Nice to meet you. You can come into our solar steam works now, he said. Did Sir Top and Hat want you to repair it? Yes, said Stepney, he does. Perfect. Said Victor, let's get you in. Can you send him in all the Yes, said all the Stepney was pushed in. Once you repair it, said Victor, I'm sure you can be a very useful engine. Thank you, said Stepney. Thank you, Oliver, said Victor. It was nice seeing you. You too, Victor, said Oliver, and Oliver passed away. Well done, Oliver, said the top of hat. You are a very useful engine. Thank you for going to pick up Stepney from there. If not, I don't know what would have happened to him. Me neither, said Oliver. Are you ready to be a very useful engine once again? Yes, sir, said Oliver. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Go be a very useful, very useful engine, Oliver. Yes, sir, said Oliver, and here is off. I should probably go check down that line in case there's something else in the top of that. And here Winston puffed the way. One day all some engines are talking at the shed. Just then all of them puffed in. Hello, said Oliver. Hi! Guess what I did, said Oliver. What happened? said the other engines. I saved an engine from scrap. <gasps> Some of the engines gasped. Like, what happened to you many years ago? Said Nia. All of us fell silent. I don't like to be reminded of the time I was almost scrapped, he said. Don't worry, Oliver. I was in the exact same situation. I was almost put for scrap, too. And then my brother Thomas came to save me. That was very good, said Oliver. Yes, indeed. Who did you say? Said, said Hank, what's his name or her name? His name is Stepney, said Oliver. The engines fell silent again. Stepney, said the flying sportsman. I've, I've met him before. Who's Stepney? said Philip and Stafford. They had never met Stepney. Oh, said Oliver, he's a, he's a friend. He is, said Hank. I don't think I remember Stepney either. So I don't remember Stepney. Who's Stepney? Said Nia. said Nia. I just came to the island last year. I have no idea who you're talking about, said Frida. But I hope he seems nice. I believe I met Stepney once or twice, said Wiff, but not. But I don't know if I remember him that much. Oh yes, yeah, said Oliver. I met Stepney many years ago. 
he came to Stodola for a visit and to talk him that let him stay. But then he went back for a visit to his Bluebell branch line and well we thought they just weren't gonna send him back. That's what they were told it to talk him at, he said. <clears throat> and then after that he just came back here. The his railway was closed down after they No, I'm I'm saying the story wrong. Stepney was sent back to the Bluebell branch line from the top of the hat for to go back for a visit. When he went, got there, the railway was closed, and they, the ship sent him back here. But when he arrived, the top of the was on vacation, so that's why we had to... He was put in a siding and, ne and never moved. He was covered in, like, old stuff and trees and stuff. Ugh. Oh, dear, said Hank. That sounds very bad. It is, said all the... That's why I did my part and I saved Stepney from scrap. Because he is a really useful engine. And he's a very old engine too. Yes indeed, said Hank. A week later, Stepney came out looking repaired. Thank you, Victor, he said. You're welcome, Stepney. I wonder what Sir Tom Hatt will let me do. You should go find him, said Victor. I'm sure Sir Tom Hatt have, might have a job for you. All right, said Stepney, and rushed away. He seems like a nice fellow, said Victor to Kevin. Yes, said Kevin. Stepney found Sir Topham Hat sitting in Winston. Hello, he said. Stepney, you're finally repaired. Yes, said Stepney. I'm very happy to hear that, said Sir Topham Hat. What should I do, said Stepney? Well, Stepney, I don't have an actual job for you yet, but... Well, uh, maybe just go back to the sheds and go chat with everyone. Sounds good to step me and he was off. Billy was still pulling the was doing the exact job he had one week ago when he met Oliver. As he was coming in the Napford station, he saw Stepney come out. Who are you? he said. Hi, I'm Stepney. Stepney, he said. Who are you? I just said my name is Stepney, said Stepney. Hi, said Billy. Do you know where to bring the waterworks cars, or not the waterworks, the aquarium cars? Sorry, said Stepney, no idea. Bother, said Billy. They just don't know where to go. He was getting mad. Had been figuring this out all week, and no one knows where to bring them. Preposterous, he said, and rushed away. Stepney laughed. He's a funny one, he said. I guess I'll head down. This track. Stepney came through Matlin Station. We came to an old tunnel. This is a very unique tunnel, said Stepney. We popped right out. Just then he blew his whistle. Maybe the engines might recognize it. Oliver was sitting at the sheds and heard a whistle coming from down his line. I don't know who that is, he said. Oliver quickly moved out of the way. And just then, Coming around the corner was Stepney, fully repaired. Hello, he said. Who are you? said Nia. I'm Stepney. Does the top of the hat know about you? Yes, he does, said a voice. I do know who Stepney is, everyone. Welcome back, Stepney. Thanks, sir, said Stepney. Um... Yes, so I don't have a job for you at the moment, Stepney, but if you would, just then Scruff came flying down the hill. Help, he said, my brakes, my brakes. He uncoupled from the milk and flew down the hill. He, de he became derailed and flew off the track. Yes, uh, Stepney, could you take the milk tanker? Stepney laughed. Of course, sir, he said. Scruff had no idea who Stepney was. Who is that? said Squaff. I've never seen him before. Stepney coupled up to it. You look very nice pulling it, said Oliver. Thank you, said Stepney. I'm glad to have a second chance on the island of Sodawa. And with that, Stepney was off. As Stepney was chuffing along, he saw... He saw Billy. I'm gonna race up to him, he said. Billy was just puffing along, when all of a sudden Stepney came flying down. Ah, said Billy. Edward was coming around the, around the building and then he saw Stepney and gasped. 
Uh, help me! He shouted, you're here! Hi, Edward, he said. Yes, I am. Can you move out of my way, said Billy? Ugh. Billy was off. Stepney, it's so good to see you, said Edward. Same to you, Edward, he said. Where were you? How are you back? Well, said Stepney, I had to, uh... I had... I was sent back here from the Bluebell branch line. And then, well, here I am. Wow, said, said Edward. It's nice to see you back here. Thank you, said Stepney. It's great to be back. Because this is what happened, and Stepney told the story. Oh my, said Edward. That must have been very scary. Yes, indeed, said Stepney. Well, I have to get going, okay? I have some milk. Okay, we'll talk later, Stepney. Goodbye. Goodbye, and they were off. It's good to be back, said Stepney, and he puffed away to continue his journey. The end.